Good afternoon, ladies. Uh, it's deja vu all over again for some folks here along Main Street in Ellicott City. We're actually in the West End, so this water main break that we've been talking about all morning doesn't affect downtown. Still, there are folks that live along here uh, just by Rogers Avenue that had their basements flooded out. Uh, during the storm last summer, and now those basements are flooded out once again. What we're dealing with here is a 12-inch main that is broken here. Again, as I said, very near where Rogers Avenue meets Main Street here in the West End. They are in the process right now of pumping water out of the hole so that they can start making repairs. Joining me now is Steve Gerwin, who's the head of Bureau of Utilities here in Ellicott City. Steve, thanks for joining us. Tell us where we are right now in this process and uh, what these folks out here are doing. Well, we've we successfully shut the water main down, so now we're dewatering it so we can assess what's going on. Uh, we found out that it's a split as opposed to a circle break, which is a much more catastrophic failure of the pipe. So we're going to have to replace a couple of lengths of pipe as opposed to putting a clamp on it. Okay, and this uh, process you said we, we should uh, be passable by Friday. You're hoping, is that right? We're going to our target is to have the road passable by Friday, not not finished. It's not going to get a finished paving for probably a week or two, but passable by Friday afternoon. Now, Steve, you and I were talking earlier, normally you fix a, a couple of these a day, these types of mains, but because it's here on Main Street, it makes it uh, that much more uh, special, for lack of a better word. You were here uh, during the storm last year. You had to do a lot of repairs as far as water damage and concern, is concerned. What is it like to work on this water main break, and how do you feel for the folks that live along here that have had their basements flooded once again? Well, driving away this morning, it was reminiscent of sort of flashing back to I think what from the county was just a heroic response by so many in the county. But, uh, you know, we know people that live here. We know people that work here. It became family and community. So here we are again, and there's an emotional connection to the folks. They've been through so much that we want to do what we can to minimize the impact. Okay, Steve, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. And uh, just to recap, they're hoping to have this thing passable again by Friday. One final note, there was a gas main break uh, at the other end by Hill Street, which did affect downtown. That has nothing to do with this water main break. They're doing construction down there, and they hit a line that is being dealt with at this hour, and we understand that road should be passable down there uh, soon, again, by Hill Street and Main Street, which is uh, in downtown Ellicott City. That's the very latest live here in Ellicott City. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL, TV 11 News.